This is Dennis from Aspen Thicket. This is Scout. We're going to work through the uh, steadiness process with Scout. Scout is three years old, and those of you who know me know I usually wait until about three years old to start breaking a dog. He's had wild bird shot over him in North Dakota and the state of Michigan. Woodcock, rough grouse, and prairie birds. He's very staunch dog he will point his birds but he currently likes to break at the flush and chase them a little bit and he's going to be at the point in his age where he will self relocate on birds and bump a couple of those and i'm going to show you the process of how to work a dog first we're going to do stop the flush with him and then after the stop the flush we're going to go through steadiness first thing you have to do is teach them the command whoa okay they need to learn how to stand still. I use a barrel, oh. and of course I've been through some of the basic stuff with Scout here, but we want him to stand still on the barrel and 100% and understand what woe means. Now a lot of times you can do that with a young dog. You put them on the barrel, play with their feet a little bit. You might have a little bit of a fight, but you have to just go ahead and work through it and get them to stand still on this barrel. It's a whole nother process, but those of you who are tuning in that may know how to do this already, it's important that you get them low. Now see, I'm making him comfortable on here, stroking up his tail, hitting his chest, his head is high. He's very comfortable with the command low, okay? The next thing, the very next step that you're gonna do is you're gonna teach your dog how to heal. Now, the important part when you're teaching low, when you tell him okay, you tap him on the head, you lift him off the barrel. Heel. Now we're going to teach heel. Heel is basically having a dog walk alongside you. Heel. And you have to teach him how to do this with slack, okay? You don't want him pulling you with the line being tight and stuff, okay? You can use a wonder lead. I've used those before. They work really good. But we're just going to teach him to walk beside us. Okay? Heel. Short pops, slack. Slack is the reward. through them. Heel. See how I use my knee there? Heel. Turn them this way. A little tug. Heel. And it's okay to keep saying it because we're teaching him this. Heel. I turn this way. I use my leg. Okay? Heel. Again, slap. start mixing in whoa okay he knows what whoa means the important thing in here that I did is I stopped with him okay we're gonna work through the advanced stuff a little bit later on but I stopped with him I'm gonna leave him I'm giving him the hand sign for whoa okay I'm gonna walk around him Tell him he's a good boy. I'm going to bring him up, bring his confidence up. I'm going to say, okay, and we're going to go heal. attention back. Whoa. Use the hand signal there. Okay. Whoa. Good boy. Whoa. Okay, come closer to me so they can see me up. 
Okay, folks, that's the first phase of doing this. All right, what we've done is we taught the dog whoa on the barrel. Okay, I'll probably bring a younger dog out so you can see how we can do that. But I wanted to get folks into this to show you, you know, part of what we're teaching is stop to flush. And the reason I teach stop to flush is because these dogs are bred to point. Whoa is not going to have anything to do with birds. It's the actual mechanism that teaching the dog to stand still. And from that teaching the dog to stand still, what you'll see is we're going to work towards actually conditioning him to the e-collar and making him stand still and then using that e-collar when birds flush to make him stop so he's going to automatically stop every time a bird flushes. And we'll talk a, bit, a little bit later about how we put that together. But anyhow, this is Dennis from Aspen Ticket. Thanks for tuning in, and remember to check out DT Systems. Thank you.